Hey guys, Jason here. I just wanted to talk about um, the movie Damsel on Netflix. Um, the movie Damsel on Netflix, and there's going to be some spoilers in this, but you know, I'm just a little, I'm just a little disappointed that the movie didn't go as far as it could with the relationship between um, uh, Millie Bobby Brown's character Elodie and Shorey Agdashlu's um, dragon, and and Shorey. She's amazing as the dragon. You know, she was amazing in The Expanse as a Christian Avasarala. Um, what a voice that she has. And look, Millie Bobby Brown, you know, she's not bad in the movie. You know, but here's the thing that bugs me about the movie. The relationship that they did not build between Elodie and the dragon. Now, I understand that... Um, they're trying to make the dragon the antagonist for the far, for the large amount of the movie. They're trying to make the the dragon the antagonist. They're trying to make um, and 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 um, Elodie is clearly the protagonist, right? It's not till the end of the movie that okay, there's a little spit of a switch in now. Now the dragon becomes a protagonist, becomes Elodie's ally um, against the the kingdom um, that. Um, you know, lied to everybody about um, the whole thing with. Um, well, they lied to the dragon, right? The, the king. The, they lied to the dragon that um, they were all um, they were all, you know, of uh, of royal blood when they did the whole thing with the hand, and the blood got into their blood, and okay, now the dragon um, can smell the blood and knows it's royal blood. Okay, I guess the dragon knows royal blood. Most dragons, most dragons, you know, they're greedy and they hate royalty. You know, that's the other thing about dragons. I think most of the time they hate royalty. So, um, but the problem is that let's say that you were Elodie. You are in the safe area where she reaches in that, that part of the movie where she sees on the wall, everything's safe here, right? And she hears the dragon say, oh, did I hurt you? You know, when she's, 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 she's burned. You know, now, if a dragon's talking to me, I'm going to talk back. You know, I'm going to give this dragon hell. I know I'm safe in this area. Why not talk back? Why not say something back to the dragon? Why not say, who the hell are you? What do you want? She doesn't say anything. The, she does not talk to the dragon. I believe it's till the end of the movie where she's trying to tell the dragon the truth. You know, the problem with them becoming allies so quickly and she uses the stupid glowing worms to heal the dragon, you know, Clearly a plot device to, you know, bridge the gap between her and the dragon of these stupid glowing, these stupid glowing worms. But it's like they never built up that relationship where she sees that this dragon is also a victim. She doesn't realize that till the end of the movie. She should have been talking more to the dragon. We could have gotten great dialogue between her and the dragon while the dragon's trying to kill her the whole time, trying to burn her. And all this other stuff. It's not until the end when she finally starts talking. Then the true problem with the movie is after she heals the dragon and they become allies, we never get a single bit of dialogue between them after that point. We never get to see them interact as allies. You know, we never get to see, um, you know, Shorey's a great voice. We never get to hear a great voice again now as an ally to Elodie. Like, what is their relationship like now that they're these unlikely allies, you know? Do they bicker? Do they fight? You know, you know, how does Elodie feel about being allies with this dragon that has murdered so many people in cold blood, not be known to the dragon, but still the dragon still murdered people, you know? So it's, it's so unrealistic of her to become an ally so quickly to the dragon after the dragon become trusting of her if they don't ever build that relationship through the story, not till the very end. And it's a miss. It's a total miss. And we've been, we missed out on great dialogue. At least if you're not going to build up their relationship between the movie, through the movie, at least show them talking to each other now that they're allies. Like the moment that she heals the dragon with the worms, why not have, why not have the dragon say like, you would save me? Or, you know, now maybe the best thing to have done 
was to after she heals the dragon, maybe show them standing together on the on the mountain looking at the looking at the kingdom and where they both agree like we're going to take revenge now you and me, you know? We're going to do this you and me. We're going to we're going to go and wreck we're going to wreck that kingdom, right? And that's what she does, but we never see that agreement between her and the dragon. So, I just want to say I hope everybody enjoyed the movie, but we really missed out on what could have been some awesome dialogue between them when they were finally these when this uneasy truce. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see her smiling at the dragon while they're flying out in the sunset. I want to see the dragon talk. That's 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 what we're seeing. You know, that's, why do the writers say no? Nope, no more talking from the dragon once they're allies. Maybe they don't want it to turn into slapstick because that's that's what we would have gotten. We would have gotten some interesting conversation between them, but we never do. So if you guys agree with that, comment. Thanks. Bye.